At this time, we, we proceed to our next presenter with the research tied to our work-related stressors while secondary teachers basis for developing a stress management program. Dear fellows, please help me welcome this very interesting to be to us and our other ones. Uh, the 
now that which can be utilized. The results show where it causes uh, stress level manifestations at 0.87, and the extent of the fact of stress is at 0.94. Both are acceptable. So now let's move on to the findings and results. So, so to answer our first research questions, uh, which is uh, what is the level of stress manifestation in the workplace as identified by the respondents? So here are the results. So we have used the five-point electric scale uh, was utilized to evaluate the level of stress manifestation from very frequently experienced to never. And consequently, the rating scale and verbal interpretation were used from extremely severe down to never. They just asked the court where the mean of 3.44. And according to the verbal interpretation, this is actually moderate. And work overload is at 3.33, which is also moderate. And pending deadlines is at 3.29, which is also moderate. And multitasking at work is at 3.97 or 97, interpreted as severe. And finally, unjustified work assignment is at 3, which is also moderate. So among these five identified work related stressors, multitasking and uh, at work receives an overwhelming response, followed by previous tasks and then work overload. So this confirmed that indeed our educators, particularly at the secondary level, have succumbed to multiple work with stressors at work. And this is what I think is reason as an educator. What do you think? So to answer the second question, which is uh, the extent of fact of work related stress among the secondary teachers, so here are the results. Again, we have used the five point electric scale was utilized to evaluate the level of stress manifestation from very frequently experienced to never. Consequently, the rating scale and the verbal interpretation were used from extremely severe down to normal. So, out of 15 statements, uh, for the sake of this short presentation, I will only present to you the top three, which Garner the highest mean. So let me start with the top one. The question statement was, I start doing one thing and get distracted into doing something else. This, this garner the mean of 3.1, interpreted as fear. So if we observe thoroughly, the question statement is closely related to multitasking, isn't it? So for the top two, the question statement uh, was, I feel changes in my skin patterns and discarded the mean of 2.82 interpreted as moderate. So finally, for the top three, Mr. question number two, I have trouble making up my mind, receives a mean of 2.75 interpreted also as moderate. So in totality, with all the 15 questioners and below to the respondents, the overall mean was 2.56 interpreted as moderate. So when we look closely at our questionnaires, Q1, our question blue one is under cognitive Question number 10 falls under behavioral, and question number 2 falls from under cognitive as well. So, if our educators experience stress cognitively more often, then possibility, the possibility of mental stress can be evident, and this will result in how the poor educators will be. Thus, the extent effect of work with stress is somehow contained uh, based on the overall results. And finally, for our research, question number 3 is to create an action plan based on the results for our research question we will run into. So following actions are suggested, secondary teachers need a place to unwind. A quiet time room, a place to listen to music for those who like music. Recreation area, like dark area, table tennis, badminton area, swimming pool, and a massage chair. But to be yes. Yes, we deserve this. Imagine our school, university, we have this facility as well. As long as we are not overloaded, then we don't have time. Can I, can I hear yes for this? Yes. 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 So the secondary teachers in particular will be given a stress management program, what we call this as a B plan, and they can choose a two to do on a weekly basis. Administrator, do you hear this? Maximum three activities can be done in a week, and this SMB plan will be monitored by the SMB in charge of personal who is assigned. First section in the So the expected outcome will be, I just say one, okay? There's an enhancement in their overall health, states that can be seen in their medical, physical examination. Number two, cafeteria. What's with cafeteria? Do you know that what they eat affects your mood? Yes. <laughs> On the end of the program, uh, if, uh, for example, the SM or the secondary teachers will be participating, then each charge will go 
going to take the upper <coughs> plate, high BMI, high BMI of body mass index, and they will be uh, recorded. So the STs who are currently in charge will be uh, given a selection of healthy food to consume on a daily basis. So it's either from their own houses or from the school cafeteria. So as a people uh, in charge will monitor food and eat on a daily basis from that point. So expected outcome will be as this physical condition will improve and those who are overweight and underweight will change and see from the time as it started in the program. And number three is a place to release. A place to release means uh, certain directors can have its own counselor. So uh, this, group, this group does at least once a week. So as these are expected to be emotionally stable, there's improvement in class management and critical thinking is physical in decision making and challenges after when the uh, secondary teachers are going to have or be or participated in the program. Number four is professional development and team building. So a special professional development or team building will be given. So there is a specific program to address issues at work such as new updates, camaraderie at work, and other important aspects to improve their special skills. So as a team charge, and they will plan the professional development program and team building activity. This is being done in a quarterly basis, so depending on the SRT management. So, expected outcome of being part of support and mastery of the subject is more apparent. And that's the uh, best teachers of the month. We're actually doing it in our school. So, a special program to be given at the secondary teachers. So, one of the rules uh, of the club is to praise in public and criticize in private. But sometimes we're doing in another way. We criticize or we criticize in public and praise private. Okay, so that's why we're going to ask. So if you are going to criticize, do it privately, praise to it publicly. Yes, and Peters? So yes. this is to increase self esteem and touch them when they do something good. So as a being charged to prepare for to select best uh, secondary teachers on a monthly basis, currently or depending, depends on depending on the so the ST shall receive a certificate and special token. So expected outcome will be ST's overall performance will improve. Now let's move on to the question. I have two minutes left. Number one, moment task network is the identified as uh, the main source by the respondents. So it clearly shows that our educators, especially the secondary level, must be given a justified work-life balance. And it is evident that prolonged exposure to stress could cause health problems in the future. Conclusion number two, secondary teachers are expected to learn about the first skills of teaching. This is to lessen the experience stress and not do to tedious tasks and multitasking. So when the educators are adept enough to the use of technology and other challenging learning platforms, the experience stress will be lessened. Through training, mastering the standard and usage of technology, the secondary teachers will be able to adjust to the abrupt changes, and this is important in order to adapt for themselves and to and lastly, our conclusion, it's therefore important to develop a stress management program specifically designed for the secondary teachers as the cognitive aspects were currently examined to cause possible impact of stress, but specifically in the secondary teachers. And now for our recommendation, the following are recommended based on the findings and conclusions. Number one, uh, conducting a pre-test and post-test to the respondents spent for eight a comprehensive results. So the results can actually deviate from the first time they have entered it and after experiencing the stress management program. And number two is after thorough analysis of the main causes of stress, particularly in the secondary teachers, it is worth saying that the administrators should apply for active preventive or proactive and preventive activities to enhance teachers' experience in the school. And number three, our recommendation is uh, institutionalizing a wellness <coughs> and by integrating it into the faculty programs that can be considered to lessen stress experienced by the secondary teachers. And lastly, it is therefore crucial to conduct national research to focus on secondary teachers who experience stress at work. This is to ensure mainly that our secondary teachers are emotionally, mentally, and physically in excellent condition. Be able to perform their passion of teaching holistically, thus negative stress can take a toll on their health. So let me end my presentation by saying this: teaching is a novice profession since it produces all experts in the world.
Without educators, no knowledge can be delivered or transferred. Therefore, it is crucial that we look after the well-being of our educators. Let me thank Kida for organizing this historical event and looking forward to our next research conference and to my fellow presenters, Joe Volta. Here is the Thanks, Helen Marsh, for this uh, version for your presentation, and I hope that.